Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everybody's doing alright. I apologise for the camera because I've really tried to get it right but I cannot get the GoPro right at all. Everything just looks terrible. <laughs> but I give up so... Right, we're just gonna rip round here. Alright, so I'm gonna go and nip across to the red spanner. Hey Jake, how's it going? Hey, Mad Wolf, how are you doing? Uh, I'm not doing too bad, Jay. A little bit. Not, not annoyed probably the wrong word, but I've just been trying really hard to get uh, to get on with the GoPro because uh, everyone's been complaining the GoPro's not on. So I've been really, really trying to get that on, and I and I just can't. Uh, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but uh, I I can't get the colour right at all. And I really have tried, like, I tell you. Right, plenty of Scania dealers. We've got any DAF dealers? Volvo. Do we own a DAF? Actually. Hey, Mad Wolf. Uh, not too busy, man, no. Not too busy, just, just annoying. <laughs> uh, just annoying, mate. Right, so I've got... Hey Massey, how are you doing, buddy? So I've got that Volvo as well. And I've got the there we will take that. We'll take that. I'll do. Right, uh, where else are we? Yeah, it has been a it's been a little bit busy. I'm looking forward to tonight, but as I say, the GoPro has been bothering me for a while, and uh, I, I really wanted to get it, you know, sorted for the stream. So I literally just sat for like a solid hour trying to get the thing sorted. But I just uh, that's why I gave up. I thought I'm sitting here. You lot will be hanging about waiting for us. I thought, nah, I'm giving up. Right, we're gonna carry on our way down through Latvia. And just work our way down the country, really. Right, so my PC won't boot. Ah, that's not good. Ah, I mean, having the GoPro being off colour is not as bad as your computer not booting, you know. And that, that's a severe problem right there. Right, so we're going to job market it and we're going to head our way down to... I mean, if I could get down sort of here... I'll be happy, but we'll, we'll see what's about, so. I've not got many jobs. All right, we'll take that and that'll do. But yeah, I do apologise uh, for the GoPro. It's uh, it's not good. <laughs> I think one of the biggest causes is the monitors are so f like flat in colour. This top screen is so bright. I think that's one of the causes, like.
On we go, so we're taking this one and we can choose I'm not bothered. Let's just take it man. Ah it's not it's not right though Lee, like, it's nowhere near right. It's definitely not right. So yellow, that's that's the biggest thing, like how yellow everything looks, it's mad. Hey Adam mate, how's it going buddy? Hope you well. No, it's not that Gary, uh Grace, sorry, I mean as I say I can I can give it a go, but uh, it's, I don't know what it is, it, it, I think it's this top screen, I think that's the, what's causing a slight problem with the yellow, but it's fine for a bit, when you, when you put your hand like right close to it, it sorts itself out, it's a white balance, I can't have it on auto white balance, because it just goes dark, so I have literally tried everything. Greens look good though. It's just yellow. <laughs> Mad. We'll sort it. I just I need I don't, I don't know what it is. Well, the plus side, the screens look alright. I can turn the screens down a bit if you think they're a bit bright, but I think, I think they look alright. Pro mods is worth it if you've got all the DLC, yeah. Actually, I'll wait until we get... I'll wait until we get round the roundabout. <laughs> oh, there's some idiots about her. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what I can do about it. I have no idea. Well, I could steal the uh, the fourth monitor off my desk, but I don't have that, so... I don't know yet. Give up. That's that that that's my motto for at the moment. I've also got some major uh, problem of no gears for some reason. So that should fix that. Man. Now we're rolling. Now we're rolling. What's the size of the monitors? 27 inch. That's just mad. I mean, <laughs> I don't know how to fix it. I've tried everything. And then if I fix it for my hands, the screens go absolutely wonky. We'll have a bit of a play about, I think.
Right, your warm settings might be high. Ah, I've got them turned down. I don't know what it is. Ah, honestly, I've been messing around with it for like an hour. I, as soon as I put, as soon as I run a custom white balance, it just absolutely poos itself and just goes bloody, absolutely like. Uh, really, really dark. I just I don't have a clue what the problem is, man. Something's causing it to to lose it. Like I just don't know. I just don't know what it is. I've had this every time I've changed screens, man. Yeah, so that's a custom white balance, but then you start losing the screens, you see. So my hands look better, but now my screens look like a bit worse. It's not like a, there's not a fine line with a white balance, like. So I could turn, what could I do now? See, because the problem is you start losing colour because it's so bright. Alright, I'll tell you what, I could turn down the... What if we go down a bit with the, with the uh, ISO? What if I go down... Sorry lads, but uh, just to, if I can get it right, I'll do my best. It's fine. Well, with that attitude, you're never going to get anywhere in life. Although you'll never have any problems, which is great, but you'll never actually better yourself with that attitude. If you go watch me all the videos, there's no way if you upgrade stuff, it should get worse. Your quality and stuff should get better, not worse. You shouldn't look at someone's videos a year ago and then look a year later in the worse. Right, see, now we're too dark. It's like, oh! <laughs> I'm gonna kill it. <laughs> There's gotta be an in between. It's like, too light, too dark. Too yellow, like, come on, just give me that view there, man. Oh mate, if you're gonna keep saying it's fine, just go away. I don't care. It's not fine. Oh, hear it, you're right there, buddy. It's a nightmare, man. And I don't know why when I plug the GoPro back in, it's not just sorting its life out, like, but. Right, let's see what that's like. It doesn't help that, to be fair, in game it is getting dark. Ha! Is that it? Oh, there you go. Hey, get up there. That's better. Cool. That'll do. I'll have to. I'll have to get that setting and uh, remember what setting it is. <laughs> oh God. That'll do ya, that'll do ya.
just takes time, man. And the rest of the room doesn't look too bad either. The only thing I don't like is that's the, the lights on full brightness, but I don't care. As long as it works. <laughs> right, guess what? GTU farm team for 21 quid. That's good, yeah. Awesome, buddy. Yeah, one of the biggest things though is not having the reflections. My god, so good. Love it. Absolutely love it. That is like made the gaming for me just completely different. Oh, I see that aeroplane come in there. Where the hell did that come from? I, mean, I was just turning my steam wheel off. I thought I was going to hit the bloody thing there, like. Ah, oh, I'm so happy. I literally messed on with it for an hour. I messed on with it for 10 minutes while I'm live and it's sorted. So happy right now. I think I need to put LEDs behind my computer. Right, how's everyone doing anyway? We'll get back to the chat now. Uh, I'm first in race miles on your VTC. Awesome, Harrison, man. I take it you like to go fast. <laughs> I love the caravan stream. Oh, it was good fun, eh? Yeah, it was good fun. Yeah, we're doing a bit of uh, sim, ra sim racing tonight, which will be good fun. You're doing a bit of farming? Are you on the beer there? I must be on the bed, are you? Ah, Mr. Jake, I know. Uh, hopefully soon. Uh, the, the, officially, the desk is ready to go, unless I steal the screen off it. I don't know. I'm kind of in like... I was going to try and do some GDA today, just, just to see if the desk will run it. No on, most fit on. Ah! Oh, it's not that bad, is it not? That oh, might be worth a go. I'm really enjoying the update, like. Ah, oh, screens look way better now. Excellent. Right, we're in Finland at the moment, we are, we're just on our way down to Latvia. Right, I have no idea where we are. Yeah, as I say, I have got my desk set up at the moment, but it's got one of these monitors on it, which I'm thinking of taking to put on here and get rid of this, because this monitor is doing me in it. So I'm thinking of doing that, so I'm not sure, but I'm going to test out GDA. <laughs> I've only got a 970 in that computer, so I don't know if it'll run it, so I'm going to test it out first and then uh, hopefully we'll be back to running it. I don't think my dad's going to play GDA, I'm not sure, because we got trolled massively, like. Where the hell, do I, are we actually on the ferry in this one? Uh, no, I'm not a real trucker, no. Uh, 
That looks better though. Oh, even my hands look good. Apart from being a bit shaky. <laughs> Lol. Right, let's get cracking. So, we're just uh, in Helsinki at the moment. Uh, and we're going to hop down the ferry somewhere. <laughs> Uh, why not? What? Why not be a trucker? Because I'm banned from driving, buddy, for health reasons. I don't have a car. I'm. Uh, I'm not allowed to drive in real life. Hey, Kenny, how you doing, buddy? Hope you're well. I mean, honestly, right, on the TVs, uh, you would have been seeing me now, and it's just that is just so much better. Uh, no, I always, uh, I normally stream like this, yeah. This is how we normally stream. Uh, harm, because I have seizures, buddy, so I'm not allowed to drive. There's a video in the description if you want to learn more. What? Right, I'll go on the right here. Right, hiya, Edward, how's it going? What's up, man? I started looking into some Fanatic gear. I'm going to make a commitment to build one of these rigs. Oh, well, awesome, buddy. You can always contact me on Facebook if you ever need uh, any help or anything. Ah yeah, we're well known for first person view now, like, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, I don't play PS4, no. I'm just pleased to get the GoPro on, man. Yes! So I'm interested to see what the farm will look like on the GoPro on the screens. That, that kind of interests me. I wonder what that'll be like. I think for tractor driving and that, it might be quite good. But I like having the face cam on that on the farm, and I must admit. Right, my dad used to drive his CVs. Oh yeah, I can imagine that. I've not really been in a wagon, to be honest. Right, we've got 400 kilometers to go, but I'm going to get asleep at some point when we can. You don't need to apologise, mate. No problem. Hey, Gambler, how's it going, pal? How are you doing, matey? Right, can you see... Yeah, you can see the minions. <laughs> the little men.
Yeah, I've got to say, for anyone who's interested in farm sim and that, you've got to try the new update. It is super cool. If you're on PC, that is. I don't play flight sims, no. Not at the moment. Right, Mark, I actually found admin. Uh, what, in the game, you mean? Yeah, don't forget we are uh, sim racing tonight. We're not uh, trucking tonight. Quite looking forward to get on with Sam. Sam's going to be coming on Skype as well, which will be interesting. Ah, Mr. Craig, how's it going? Long time no see, man. Hope you're doing well, mate. Hope you're doing well. Not good, Craig. Jesus, that, that's awful, buddy. The rain's heavy, man. Get asleep here. We don't need fuel, so hey William, how we doing, buddy? So I don't know where we actually. Oh, that's gonna be tight. Oh, we need to be in there. Are you joking? Right. Well, that's going to be tight. No, it's not that bad. Now we're good. I can't get over how good the screen's look in the dark. Ha! <laughs> this is mint. Nailed it. Cracking. Uh, no, actually, I'm just going to change over my gearbox again. It's a 12 and 2 in this, so I'll just go with that one. I'll do. Nice. That's a nice truck, this man. I went single axle. Single axle, man. Not like me. Hey, monkey, how you doing, bud? Right, I would actually go and get fuel soon as over here, but we actually... Oh, Jesus Christ. We actually don't need fuel, so... I can get over like here. 
and there's no reflections. There's reflection in here. Like I can see my own hand, but I just can't get over it. It's mint, absolutely mint. If anyone's playing on a non-IPS panel, make sure you buy IPS. Because even in the summer, you won't need to like shut your blinds and all that. You can just crack on and be mint. Ah, she doesn't talk much. She, she's sitting in a truck with me, like to be fair. So I don't, I don't expect it at all. Uh, Will, I stream all day normally, uh, on and off all day. So I normally stream in two hour episodes, uh, and then I stream like four different games every day. So the only stream that I have a certain time for is the one with my dad on the night. I stream exactly at, at about eight o'clock give or take 10 minutes if we're late. But uh, yeah, eight o'clock every day, seven days a week, UK time. All right, Richard, how's it going, man? How's it going? Uh, Craig, no, it's a GoPro. No, Oculus Rift is VR. Oculus Rift is having like some on your face. This is literally a GoPro. This is what I see. This is my, this is my room. <laughs> That's my window. This is my monitors. This is what I see. Alright, first time here says DJ. Welcome buddy, hope you're well. Uh, really enjoy the effort and time you've spent to make this setup a uh, really good job. Cheers pal, much appreciated. <laughs> well Robert, I hope you're doing okay buddy and uh, Thank you for making the effort of coming in, even though you're not well, buddy. Mr. DT Fang, how's it going? It's going all right, yes, man. I can't believe how good everything looks now. Well happy. Hi, right, what's up? I'm back. Uh, hey, Rob, how's it going? I uh, like ETS2, you bought it this morning. Excellent, buddy. Really good. It is a good game, like. It really is. You have a CSL Elite V2. Uh, I mean, that's two different wheels, that. That's not the same wheel, I don't know. Right, previous stream question. Uh, the sheds in FS are they an in-game mod one? No, I got them off a website. Uh, if you want, I can put them on the Facebook group because a lot of people have been asking about them. Uh, I can certainly put them on the Facebook group for you. beyond the Baltic Sea. Yeah, I, I absolutely love it. Yeah, it's a solid, solid title. Like, like as an addition to Euro Truck, it is definitely worth having. 110%. I was uh, I was just in uh, Helsinki, so I'm working my way down to Latvia. Oh, Richard, it, it is a solid uh, addition. It is really good. Probably one of the best DLCs they've brought out, you know, in my opinion. Yeah, I would say like it is the best DLC out there at the moment. Personally, anyway, I think I heard that too. <laughs> yeah, it is good, like. But the newer DLC should be better than the older DLC because they're getting better at it. 
You guys want the in-game sound turning down a little bit? I'm just looking there and it looks like it's a slightly louder than me. Alright, just released the update beta for ATS. Ah, oh, for ATS. I know I was going to go on it, but then I didn't. <laughs> I ended up on here, so... Ah, it's okay. Excellent, mate. Excellent. Have they? What, to ATS or to ETS? The only thing is at the moment, I can't use my man shifter. It hits off my monitor. <laughs> so I need to drop the shifter height down a bit. That's the only issue I'm having at the minute. I was thinking of bringing the monitors in a bit more, but this is like perfect. This literally feels like using the 40s, but more immersive. Uh, doing good Simon, how are you buddy? Hope you're having a good day mate. I hope you are. I also got around to putting the uh, glass onto the case as well. Just finished it off a bit. I, I, I'm still tempted to go for glass instead of perspex. The glass on that one looks way nicer. How are you doing, buddy? Nice to meet you, buddy. Hey, Jeff, how's it going? All right, when is ATS gonna more states? I don't know. I don't take a lot of interest in the ATS, I must admit. I am trying. You know, I at least play it once a year now, but ATS 2 is where my heart is. Like, I just love it. I love everything about it. All right, Edwin, Edwin, how are you doing, buddy? Hope you're well. Right, do I use a speed monitor for you with your phone? No, I don't, no. Uh, Jet, I, I don't know, buddy, I don't know. I, I'm trying to race a bit more now, but I stopped drift, drifting on purpose. I was trying to keep it quiet, but I will get back into drifting, I, I, I hope so. But uh, just struggling a little bit, catching the wheel and that. That's all. I'll get back into it. It's about the only thing, but racing a lot does it, but it's the only thing that really hurts my hands. Uh, and the whole point of gaming for me is so I can enjoy myself, so it just oh, it puts me in agony, man. Where am I on the map? Uh, I don't know where we are right now. Hutch is doing well, he's not been around the drift yet. Uh, we're in Panu, so P A R N U is where we are at the moment. Working our way down to Latvia. Yeah, Hutchie hasn't actually been round to go sideways yet, but I'll definitely, definitely be drifting when he's round. Uh, 110%. This is a nice road, man. My actual final destination is uh, Pospt, uh, which is just outside of Latvia, I, th I think. I think it is. Can't remember. I'll, I'll uh, show you the map when I get stopped. 
You like my Merco RS2, it's nice, I absolutely love it. I've got a new seat coming for the other rig to be here in a week or two. It's beautiful as well, like, it is absolutely stunning. Chris the Irish Gamer, how's it going mate? Long time no speak. Uh, oh, you were in last night's stream, were you? <laughs> yeah, it was deadly serious, man. There was no fun hard at all. I'm, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go on today and I'm going to be uh, banned. <laughs> but I don't care. I'll just log in with another account. Uh, I, I stream all the unboxings, yeah. Always do. I tell you what, there was days on my TVs, right, where they did look this good. But these look this good all the time. It's mint. It's well worth the change, man. Well worth it. Oh, Chris, you got to, buddy. How are you keeping anyway? You all right? I just checked for ETS 2. They have added the trailer fins and the lift gate. Ah, right, okay. Excellent. My, my worry with ETS 2, right, is I absolutely love it, and I really do. It's brilliant. The fact is, it's too far behind the times. It just is. They need to upgrade to DX11 at least. They have to go to DX11, and they're not. And I don't know why. Like I don't get it. Obviously, I know it would be hard for them to do, even if they have to scrap ETS2 and start again. They've got to go away from DX9. They have to. There's people with like three grand computers that can't get a good frame rate because DX9 is so dated. Uh, I'm in a Volvo, mate. FH16. Uh, just a single axle, nothing big, nothing flash, just like me. <laughs> uh, no, the no, she can't do anything. No, nah, she does nothing. She just sits there. Right, when is the chair coming? I don't know. I've paid for it, as soon as they're in stock he's going to send it out, so... Oh, it was an absolute blast last night, yeah, it was a lot of fun. She is, mate, she really is glad to be home. She's, uh one thing about Emma is she, she loves going out for walks and stuff like that, but obviously you can't do that all the time. She's never really had a hobby. She loves the... Game killer, mate. Stop with the questions. Jesus Christ. Uh, right, anyway. We'll go back to a question I was asking. Uh, answering. But yeah, one thing about Emma is she doesn't really have any hobbies. Uh, so she's, <laughs> we were on my grand's yesterday and I was helping my granddad with his computer and uh, he's, 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 he's not in the best of shape at the moment, my granddad, so after he had the stroke, I was helping him anyway and uh, I come downstairs after helping my granddad and my wife was chatting away at my grand who is into crocheting, so now Emma's... <laughs> All all night last night she was on trying to learn, all day to day, so we took her out. Uh, we, I took her out this morning, we went and got a couple of bits of wool for her and uh, a hook and that, so yeah, she's well happy, man. No, Game Killer, you were asking if why I wear harnesses, why seatbelts. I wear them because I have to wear them.
Well, now you're getting Grandad on. He, he kind of get up the stairs. After the stroke, he lost the use of his the whole right hand side of his body. So he's, he is walk well. He is up and about. I'll, I'll, I'll say that. But he's, he can't. He couldn't walk up the stairs or anything like that. So unfortunately, he'll never get to actually see my room. Uh, obviously, I'll be able to show him photos and that, but he'll never be able to come upstairs and have a look. But he's 86. He's cracking on. He's doing well. He, He's really wanting a tablet, for, like a tablet for uh, for watching the stream on. So <laughs> it's kind of I've, I've got my Samsung one myself, and I was kind of tempted to just give him that, but I use it all the time myself. So I'm gonna possibly go and meet up with him one day and see if we can uh, try and help him get something. He's wanting to watch me and my dad at eight o'clock. You see. He doesn't get to see my dad much with my dad living so far away, so... Ah, oh, these screens look mint on the GoPro now. We've cracked it, lad. We have cracked it. I don't know how I'm after, but as I say, I don't have a stair lift or anything. And my, to be fair, firefighter and Sam and that will say that when they come here. The stairs are really steep as well, like, so. Two He's doing all right, though. To be honest, he's he's doing not bad. He's uh, getting on with life, you know, and he's pushing himself. He's starting to write a book and that now as well. His computer's a bit a bit on the slow side, I must admit. But I'm going to see if I can maybe do some after Christmas or something for him. See if I can help him somehow. But yeah, I'm going to get him a left-handed mouse for Christmas because he's using a normal mouse just on the left because obviously he can't. He, he's got no use of his right arm at all. So, see if we can help him out a bit. Right, just bought a set of T3P Air Predals for 50 quid. Not bad, mate. Not bad at all. Nothing planned for Christmas, mate, and that. Not this year. Next year. Yeah, definitely next year. I'm trying to vlog me. I've got a mic for sale and I've got a couple of other bits for sale at the minute, so I'm just trying to f get them flogged before Christmas, so. Can I go break my awesome buddy, yeah. Right, but uh, should you could choose between your life now and your life you got in there. I, I don't know exactly what you, what that means. If you're asking, would I choose like my life right this second or my life before I had the accident, like before I had seizures? Like obviously I would choose that. I, I don't really know what that. It's a bit of a shit question to be honest. Uh, right, what wheels? Do you have for the TS? I've just got the TX mate and a T300 uh, rim for it. I do have an F1 wheel and all that, but it's, they're all heavily modified. They don't actually fit the TX. So I modified them for my T500 so they don't actually fit anymore. But yeah, I do have the original TX rim and the T300 rim to go on that. And a couple of, uh, you know, the adapters where you can bolt any rim you want to it. So. Yeah, can someone just time that person out? Jesus, thank you, my God. I didn't want to ask, because I hate asking mods to do stuff, but, oh, he's doing me tits in. Finally, God. MSI Gaming, how you doing, buddy? Hope you're well, hope you're well, buddy. He 
He is living up to his name. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for that, mate. Much appreciated. Someone's here, I think. My wife will get it though. Haha! <laughs> this is mint. I don't know who it is like. Unless it's a package, it could be a package. Right, MSI. Cheers for that, mate. Yeah, I think whoever it is, someone's here to see us. I can hear your tails wagging. DT fan, uh, great. Uh, Oh, cheers, mate. My God, you didn't have to do with that, man. Jesus. I'm going to get him one anyway, man. Thank you. Much appreciated. Yeah, much appreciated, man. All right, what are you playing? Hey, we're doing some racing. Racing at 8 o'clock, pal. Yeah, racing at 8 o'clock. Race Sims, how's it going mate? How's it going? No, I, I appreciate that as I say. He really is doing his best, you know. And when I heard him sitting on his uh, Kindle Fire downstairs and he's trying to watch me and my dad and he's just stuttering all the time and that. He's just having a nightmare. Uh, and I thought, I just felt desperately sorry for him. Like. <laughs> Again, if I, had a, if I had the cash there, I would have just gone 24 hour Tesco and just bought him one and got it done. The 86 year old, all you want to do is sit and watch your grandson and your son playing games. I mean, you should just be able to turn it on and go, man. Right, the 24 inch monitors look no different to the 40s. Uh, these are 2070s, mate. Yeah, 2070s. 24s on the other rig, these are the new 27s. They don't look any different because you, you run them closer. 40s you run, you know, my 40s I had against that back wall. These, I mean, that's me touching the screen. That's that's how close they are. So, you, 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 the smaller the screen, the closer you bring them. The 24s on the other rig are even closer. They're actually, I can't put this screen on the 24s because it, it hits off the monitor, that's how close they are. So, yeah, absolutely mad, like. Oh, mate, honestly, it's it's unreal. And how good does that look? I mean, it must look fairly sharp to you guys. It's, it's insane. It's exactly what I wanted. And it's funny, right? I keep looking up here, and I can see the glare on that monitor. You can see my hand, the reflection in the dark, look. That's how reflective they are. Compared to this, it's nothing. It's mint. And definitely that is going out. <laughs> as soon as I can pick up another one of these bad boys, that is gone. Four of these, done. Jobs are good. Well, that is close. Honestly, I can hit my hand off the shifter, look. That's how close they are. That's me touching all the way around the screens. Uh, no, we didn't get the mountains completely sorted, but I don't want to, you know, I, I, it's just it's just fun, man. I'm absolutely loving it. Absolutely loving it. Get, getting to actually build stuff is awesome, man. Uh, these at the moment are about 140 quid each, I think, monitors. 
the TVs that I got, I paid two thirty for each. Is your four screen showing this rig, or is it a desk computer? No, it's it's all connected. So this whole lot here is connected to that computer. The desk isn't actually showing anything at the moment. Yeah, streaming from this computer. When, if I'm on my desk, I have to stream from this computer. If I'm on the other rig, I also stream from this one. But if I'm on this rig, I just stream from this rig because this thing's an absolute tank. <laughs> it just you can just chuck whatever you want at it and it just does it. It's mint. Hey, Daddy, how's it going? I'm just really happy that we've got the GoPro back on the channel because it was doing me nonsense. I just could not get it right. And the colours were wrong and it was dark here and it was light there and then it, my hands were like bloody Homer Simpson. A nightmare. See, the problem with 40s as well is a 1080p 40 inch screen is the same as a 27 inch 40 inch. It's the same resolution. So all they do is they stretch the image. So as they start pulling it apart, the pixels get bigger and bigger. Uh, so if you sit close to a 40, it's not sharp. You can sit as close as you want as, uh, to a 27 and it's as sharp as anything. So, again, if it was a 40 inch 4K panel compared to a 27 inch 1080p, the 40 inch would look better. But That's spot man. It's looking good. Even though this looks really bright, like the actual sky still got colour in it and that, so like this is perfect. Wouldn't change this at all. Is that why it gets blurry when you sit close? What, to a 40 inch you mean? downgrade I know honestly yes if it's a 1080p TV and you get close to it you're gonna see pixels eventually you will see the pixels in it because it's that big stretched whereas this it's if you think this to this size and you pulled it apart to a 40 it's obviously going to deteriorate as you bring it bigger what you need to do is fill in the pixels that's why you get stuff like 4k 1440p and stuff like that but uh, yeah, it's definitely like the small, even the 24s behind me, the 24s right sit here. That's how close they sit. They sit literally here. Uh, when you open your hand like this, you hit your, you hit your fingers off the screen and it still looks clear. I love all the monitors. Ah, I know, well, obviously that's the bezel there. So on, on this, I've actually took, took this bezel behind. So you can see, I've tucked it behind. I don't know if I can show you the bezel. Obviously, that's the other bezel down there. So it, it should be double the thickness, but because I've tucked the side ones, it looks really, really thin. Sorry, I really need to concentrate because I'm going to get lost here. Right, we're, going, we're doing a right here. I used to do it with the TVs as well. Why look at two bezels when you just look at one? <laughs> so. No, it's just 1080p, yeah. 1080p, 60 hertz. Love them as well, as I say, absolutely love them. Best choice I made. I was worried, I must admit, when I actually fully decided to downgrade, because it is a downgrade, really, uh, I was a bit gutted. And, and to be honest, I was gutted because uh, there's a guy called uh, Cliff, I'm assuming that's his name, but he's the one who helped massively with the TVs and uh, I just felt like I'd let him down, uh, to be honest, because I bought the TVs and then I've changed the monitors, but I just didn't realise how reflective the TVs would be over the monitors, it's just amazing, 
Absolutely amazing. Yeah, still got the mini light yet. I haven't got a, a shelf to put it on at the moment because I haven't finished the uh, shelving in the room, but as soon as I get that finished, uh, I, I'll, I'll do a room tour and then you'll be able to see it, you know. Uh, right, Brandon, I'm not I'm not ignoring you, buddy. I just haven't read your comment yet. Hey, up, Sam, how's it going? Did you, I added you on uh, Skype there, mate. using the GoPro now on here, I'm well happy, like, couldn't be happier. And people like uh, William and that, and Nathan, must be happy. Oh, the gloss, yeah, that's why, the gloss. The gloss finish. I know William sent me a nice message, and he was telling me to keep the TVs just in case uh, they weren't, these weren't as good. But don't get me wrong, I do miss the size of the TVs a little bit. And like my dad, he, if he gets a chance to change, if we can sell his TVs or something, he's, uh, he's thinking of going 32s, but I, I wouldn't go bigger than 27s. Like. That, that, that's a 32, and my personal opinion, that, that would be too big, personally. That's a 32, these are 27s, and, and it just it just feels right. You know, me, when I sit in my chair, the edge of my chair is just at the edge of the monitor, it just feels mint. Right, I need to find out where I am, so I've got 80 grand in the bank. Uh, I'm trying to work my way down the bottom of the map, is, is what I'm trying to do. Uh, someone keeps asking if I've still got the mini light. I keep answering, yes, I've still got the mini light. Some gabbing going on downstairs, man. Right, so I don't know whether to stay in the Volvo or change it out for an older Volvo. I think we might just stay in this Volvo, try and get a bit further down the map and then change. I think that would be it. Oh, bollock. Yes, I've still got the mini light. Stop asking. Jesus. My God, what do you want me to do? Throw it at you. Right. So, I need, I, I'm, I'm, I'm aiming to go down the bottom of the country. So I'm, see, I'm trying to get down here. I'm trying to get down this, this right-hand side. Uh, I can't get a trailer either because we don't own the garage. So all I can do is... All I can do is sleep, so we're going to go and sleep. Oh, this looks bang on, man. I have nailed this. Ha! Cracked it. I hope if I... T oh, no, you know what it is? When I turn the GoPro on and then turn it off again, I bet you it changes colour. Right, I'm going to try it, because... Not to ruin this stream, but I want to know what it's like. I want to see if it comes back to the same colour. Oh yeah, ha, excellent. Bossed it, right in the face. Some nice Volvos looking there, man. Let's have a quick nap. 
Hey, Andy T, man, how's life treating you? How's life treating you, buddy? Yeah, we're back on the we're back on the miserable rain, but I suppose it's better than it being sunny all the time. Right, so I'm still trying to get down to the side of this country. I mean, I suppose that's not bad. I'm gonna have to take that, aren't I? I can't say I want to be down here, but I suppose that's not that bad. Yeah, we'll go there. That'll do. That'll do the job, man. What I love is, when the weather changes, the dark nights come in and all that, you guys can still see. The rain looks better now. This is the old update, this buddy. This isn't, uh, this isn't the new rain, this is the old rain. What? Over here? I can't get in. <laughs> Lol. Ow! It's a gateway! Oh, it's the speed bump. I'm gonna have to jump it. Nah, I can't get in. Well, this is no good. My truck's too low. <laughs> Hang on. Right, I'm gonna go for a reverse in. Ah, we nailed it, man. That didn't go so well. I like how I went, I'll just reverse back and drive into it. <laughs> just hit it again. <laughs> Oh, what an ass. Jesus. Right. Let's, go, let's get cracking, man. There you go, Mr. Firefighter, you must think it was the uh, right thing to do now, go, go on to uh, screens, do you? You hear the rain? Part of life, isn't it? Yes, I'm going to do the same. Excellent, mate. It's great for watching stuff on as well, man. Have like a different, a different screen for a different program, you know. You guys know what I mean. Ah, uh, from the UK, buddy. Yeah, uh, northeast of England. Robertus, how you doing? Shut up, man. No, I wasn't on about that. I'm on about like Emmerdale, EastEnders, Coronation Street, Sam's wife. Like, that, you know, I'm not nowhere near what you were thinking. <laughs> right, Mr. Jingles, how's it going? Well, once I get Delhi sorted. <laughs> the embarrassing side is right when Sam comes I'm going to actually have to look these two in the eye <laughs> oh god let's hope she doesn't turn up in a work uniform I'll get knocked Uh, 
Right, if only you can split screen it. <laughs> Campbell is on it, man. This man's going for 12 screens. Right, thanks for the car convoy last night. Uh, oh, it was it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, got you there, Sam. You looking forward to uh, tonight, mate? You got you? Did you accept me on Skype or not? I just can't get over how well the GoPro is looking now. I, I honestly, the last like couple of days, I've been trying to secretly get the GoPro working, and I tell you what. I was terrified because I thought if I can't get a GoPro working, that was one of the biggest things that changed in the screens. <laughs> was so I didn't have reflections, but I was I was breaking it, man. But now I'm well happy, man. It works, man. All ah, right, excellent. Yeah, make sure it's sorted. I'll give you a, try and get, I'll try and get up for about half seven. Uh, and I'll try and give you a bell at about half seven, so make sure you're ready, because my dad doesn't know you're on yet, but it's, uh, as I say, I would have gone disco, but then it's not fair on everyone else. We're only doing it because it's your birthday, so just a bit of a, I'll let you in the Skype call a bit. Right, what are you going to start playing for us again, Mark? Mark! Uh, I don't know, mate, whenever I fancy it. I would imagine I'll be playing it at some point. I, I, I'm just loving the race room at the moment. Starting to get back to, like, really wanting to race all the time, and I'm really, really enjoying it, so... Uh, and getting other people involved, you know, I don't have Forza twice, so... Got my uncle coming round every weekend now. He's loving the racing, so... I'm hoping to get some racing in with him at some point. That's me and you finished. What? Why? I've spoke to you loads, you pleb. Hiya Finn, how are you doing buddy? Hope you're well. Right, so I've got 440Ks to go. I was going to buy the garage here, but I'm not going to bother. <laughs> Firefighter man, don't give away our, se our, our secret relationship man. Jesus. time out but uh, I didn't do anything uh, mistaken to someone else. Uh, I don't know why you were timed out buddy, I'm not sure. Maybe one of the moderators can uh, let us know while you, why you were timed out. There must have been a reason. If it was an accident the moderator should apologise to you. Uh, 100% so. Right, Malt, how are you doing, buddy? And I am in a Volvo. Oh, yes, yes, that's why. Yeah, you were timed out because you were asking about Mini Light. Yeah, good point, Sam. Thank you, mate.
Uh, no, this is an FH uh, 16, this one. A bit newer than an F10. Right, see when you are talking through the mic on the headset, do the headset have to be the same? Uh, I don't know what you mean there, buddy. Sorry, I'm not sure what you mean there. Yeah, no convoy tonight, John, mate. No, uh, Project Cars racing tonight, buddy. is a mini light it's a it's a car wheel so it's a it's an actual wheel that you put a tire on for certain cars it's a, just a type of wheel uh, yeah we're on project cars too tonight me, me and my dad my dad's not i know he's not loving the racing at the moment because he's just obviously finding he's just not that fast anymore and it's kind of frustrating him to be honest so but we can just have a fun race, to be fair. It doesn't bother me if we just let my dad go and then I'll chase him down. <laughs> doesn't bother me, but I think he's, just, he's quite competitive and obviously he's not so competitive now, so. Yeah, I think that's the thing, like, I am quite slow now, but I think you can even tell by my driving style that I used to be a little bit quicker. I, de I definitely was fairly quick, like, but not not now. Well, nothing compared to Mr. Jimmy Broadbent, though. That man could drive. Eh, uh, Finn? Because I answered your question about fourteen thousand times, and I told you, yes, I do still have the mini light. And you kept asking. That's why. You can talk about it, just don't keep asking a question that I've already friggin' answered. Simple. Robin's sick. Me too, mate. Sick of many like questions. No, I hope you're doing alright, buddy. I hope you're doing alright. Hiya, Marvin. How's it going? <laughs> Did I used to drive big rigs? No. No, I've never driven a, a real truck, no. Ah, Jimmy was on the ATS, wasn't he? I took Minty to ATS, man. Sam will make Neil look fast. <laughs> I like that. He'll make me look like I'm an F1 driver, then. I was looking in the fridge earlier and I was like, I think there's only like 10 cans left and I'm like, Jesus Christ, I've drank 15 cans already. Definitely having like stacks of monster there to the house is not good. Oh, my dad was flying last night. I think I had more accidents than my dad, man. I mean, well, funny enough, you're asking about, I've never been to watch an oval race, no, but me, me, it's my best mate's first rally on Sunday. I was really hoping to go, like, but I just, uh, me and Emma were going to go and watch, like, but unfortunately with uh, Emma just getting back and all that, we're, we're going to have to wait anyway. So we were going to go on Sunday, and we can't, obviously, so, and then with Emma's bloody fine as well. <laughs> it made it even worse. I was like, oh, gutted. He's got his rally car finished, so he's only just finished it this week. Uh, he's got a Clio, yeah, and he's got a Clio rally car. He's racing at Croft, mate. 
Yeah, he's rallying at Croft. I was going to go, but it's like, Croft used to be not bad, man. It used to be like five pound a car to get in. It's now like eight pound a person. So I was like, me and Emma need to go. It's like 20 quid, and then you need like 10 quid for food. It's like, it's ridiculous. So I said to him, I was like, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> right, nice track, track. Oh, it is a nice track. Absolutely, mate, yeah. You just learned to park on the middle of the road. Oh, mate, that was funny. Someone cut that off uh, and, and put a, uh, a clip of that on last night, man. That was hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. I, I did hit him, like. <laughs> For the dashboard dials between the wheel and uh, do you use SIM dashboard? SIM hub, yeah. SIM hub I use. Oh, you put it up, Nanny. Got you, buddy. Speeding, buddy. Yeah, speed. As a noise, well, it's just one of them things. It wasn't much, but uh, it just it, it used up what I had aside for a birthday. So <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, why me? <laughs> right. Uh, what wheel do you? I use a gold uh, cheap eBay wheel, mate. Yeah. Capture. How's it going, Val? How's it going? Uh, is it, wh what's going on with the uh, monster that you got delivered? Because I, I hope it hasn't gone to a neighbour or anything. Let us know if it's been actually delivered and I'll go and hunt it down. Oh, you've been through chaos with Amazon. Oh, just just leave it if you can. If it's an issue, mate, just try and get your funds back or something. It's, it shouldn't be that much hassle for you, mate. Emma's drinking it. <laughs> She'll go nuts when they turn up. Uh, why, why am I not using Pro Mods 133? Because it's going to get updated again for the uh, for the DLC. So all right, okay, buddy. Oh, uh, that'll be fantastic. Absolutely, but madness. Are you just going to reorder the same? Because if you're going to reorder one, can you change one pack to a green? I, I don't think I don't mean to be a knob asking, but if you do reorder the flavors, can you go standard flavor on one pack, please? No bother. It's just it's because I'm going to end up with too much blue and pink. So. <laughs> And everyone that comes round, like Hutchie and Sam, everyone loves the blue one, so they're all drinking the blue one. So a blue and a green would uh, would go down great. I'm loving the GoPro. How good does it look on the screens, though? It looks mint. Honestly, right, anyone who's just tuned into the stream, when you get a chance, go back after the stream's uploaded and watch the start, and you'll see how bad the colour was. Ah, Richard, we've got to get you down to the new room someday, man. Got to get you down to the new room. Ah, has it already been updated, has it? Ah, right, I'll have to look into it then. Ah, Mr. Samulation's in. How are you doing? I promise I haven't been talking about you. We would never do that. Uh, sounds like a good plan. Absolutely, man. I mean, I didn't know if you'd be interested in coming up, obviously, because I live so far away now, but pl please let me know privately if you, if you want to pop over. Like, you're more than welcome any time. Ah, James, yeah, they are. I mean, considering it's raining, it's dull. And they still look mint. Uh, come, I, 
I don't know, but he, I would say five five k plus. Uh, but I, 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 even roughly, I, don't, I have no idea. Oh no! I wasn't on the TV in the front room when we had our previous conversation, was I? Well, you didn't tell us that. Uh, yeah, capture either that or, or, or chuck 12 blues in. <laughs> oh, nightmare. God, she's going to think I'm an absolute weirdo. I mean, I am, but I don't want to think in that. I can't believe I've got to look her in the eye one day. <laughs> Lol. I'm just going to stand there like this. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, this is uh, some mad road markings, Jesus Christ. We've had a blind man put these up. I hope so, mate, because I'm going to get knocked out if you haven't. <laughs> Right, Sam, I uh, hope you're all well, well uh, you're doing really good mate, yeah we're having a cracking day actually, had a nice drive out, we did some good farming earlier, built some mountains, struck some stone. I'm good for now, excellent, I haven't pushed the boundaries too far. <laughs> uh, Emma's downstairs mate. Uh, I'll catch you up a little later tonight. Oh, okay, capture, mate. Yeah, okay, mate. Honestly, though, if it does get too much hassle, buddy, you know, just, you know, you don't need to go through that. You've done enough. I mean, Jesus, get me mum them candles there. <laughs> she never shuts up about them. So that made a day. So that was enough for me, man. Honestly, uh, uh, Sam, I'm pretty much. Yeah, it's got to be something severely bad for it to bother me. What do you think of the new Fnatic podium wheelbase? Awesome, absolutely awesome. I'll definitely end up with one one day in a few years, maybe. That's why I went all Fnatic wheels. Eventually, what I would like to do is replace this base with direct drive, put this base on the other rig, and then. Uh, and then the whole room, you know, is, you can just swap and change. Like now, I can take this wheel off, walk over the other rig, and stick it on that rig. It's great. <laughs> I'm pleased you heard that. Right, uh, Becca, Dad is better because he plays online with you. I do. <laughs> I play online with people just as much as my dad does. Every night, every night, eight o'clock, we do online game. Right, I love the new F1 wheel uh, that you got with the. Oh, it is nice, isn't it? I know, I did contemplate not getting the McLaren wheel and waiting and getting the other one, but... Oh yeah, the, yeah, the night streams as well, we're doing multiplayer, yeah. Come on, little truck. You can do it. Right, whatever I say behind Kelly's back, I would say to her face. I try and do that all the time, like even in real life. 
I've had people that I've been talking to before and then they've gone, oh, you wouldn't say that to such and such his face. I'll go and tell him before they tell him. I would only say something that I would say to someone's face because that way no one can ever drop you in it as well. And it's being honest, there's no point walking around going, I think that person's an idiot. You may as well just go and tell them that you think they're an idiot and then at least they know where they stand. I'm the same the other way around. If someone thinks I'm an idiot, I'd rather them come and tell us, at least I know, and I don't need to bother trying to be your friend then. <laughs> right, Volvo for the win, man for the bin. Uh, uh, Volvo's a good like. I do like a Volvo, must admit. <laughs> I am an idiot, you're right. It's a good job that was you saying that. I can't time you out, man. Just can't do it. It's the glasses. Right, oh, people there uh, know where they stand with me. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm the same. Well, probably one of the reasons I haven't got any friends. <laughs> I, I do sit quite often saying, oh, God, I can't believe I've still got any friends, but it's probably one of the reasons. <laughs> oh, McDonald's, man. Could go on McDonald's. Is this rain gonna ever stop? Jesus. What screens, uh, size screens? These are 27 inch. They just look massive because I've got them so close to us. Hi Ryan Games, how's it going buddy? <laughs> yeah, at least you know the true friends, Sam, if they're going to stick about, man. I don't know, there's just something about this wheel, I just absolutely love it. I just, the Porsche wheel was something I always wanted and just love it, man. Yeah, I mean, jokes aside, I say I haven't got any friends, but I've got a couple of really close friends. Screens look much clearer, uh, now you've changed them. Looks good, by the way. Oh, thanks, Kelly. Much appreciated, man. Kelly. That's a quite... That is, like, a, an office name as well, isn't it? It just is. Uh, but, yeah, no, seriously. Uh, it's it's full leather, the wheel. It's It's... Uh, it's proper leather, all hand stitched. Yeah, it's lovely, man. Hey, Ian, buddy, how's it going, mate? How's it going? Yeah, I'm pleased Kelly actually said how clear it looks because it was when it was raining with the lights on and when it was going dark, that's when the screens, the TVs looked terrible. They looked really blue and they just looked awful. I mean, oh, you could see me in every screen. Uh, you could see all the reflections in like all the black dashboard and that. I mean, considering it's that dark, you can just see my hand in the dash there. I mean, if you really look for it, you can just see a shadow. But I mean, that's insane. Whereas up there, you can see my whole hand look actually see my whole hand waving in the screen look <laughs> it's not even black <laughs> that's a tv i hear that rim has cost uh, a lot of trouble it has caused a lot of trouble i know i get it uh the acer buddy uh, they just they're quite a basic monitor to be honest the 1080p 60 hertz but Tell you what, absolutely fantastic. I only needed somebody to replace my TVs, you see. I just wanted the same resolution. But they just they feel massive as well, like they really do. Uh, 
Right, I have. Where we are, yeah. I know you have a modified wheel with a BMW sticker on it. Is it the base with the. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. I think so. Why did I change from 40 inch screens? Uh, one main reason was uh, I've got monitors on my other simulator behind me uh, and I've been using the 24 inch monitors and it was the reflections, there's no reflections so because of an IPS panel you don't get any reflections and I've got to have big bright lights on all day uh, so you guys can see what's going on and uh, yeah I, I just couldn't get over it then I got into sim racing I got really back into racing like I used to do a lot and having the monitors close is so way more immersive, I mean way more immersive. So I mean, I was getting back on the P1 on this rig, getting back on the 40s and I'm just hating it. I've got to be honest, I was not enjoying it at all. And then what was happening was I was going to end up just using the other rig more, which is, this is my rig, this is the one I love more than anything. I love the seat, I love everything about it, the wheel, the pedals, you know, the button box, like everything. Uh, but I was end up using the other one because it just felt so much better. Uh, this is a new monitor stand. <laughs> uh, there's another monitor stand hooked up by Simlabs again. Uh, but this is the triple monitor stand from Simlabs. Uh, free standing one, so it's actually, it's got its own legs on it. It's not attached to the, to the rig, which is nice. I certainly like it. The 40 inch monitor stand's going to be done. We're going to finally get him on the Simlabs bandwagon. Can I get him a Simlabs rig, but we're definitely on him a Simlabs uh, monitor stand. So it's such a good monitor stand as well. It is brutal strong, it really is. Right, where do I get the Skoda and Caravan and ETS2? It's online, buddy. It's on multiplayer. I don't watch football, mate. Not at all. No, just not at all. Uh, it's Connor. How are you doing, buddy? I cannot wait until I get mine. Uh, oh, honestly, ah, Tony, you, my, my dad said that you donated the other day, and he forgot to tell me. So, really apologise about that. But uh, massive shout out to you and thank you. I'm gonna uh, put it towards getting uh, Emma something for her birthday. So, and then if there's anything left over, I'll try and put it towards. I still want to try and surprise her. I want to go out for a meal with her, but she's oh, honestly I, I, after the car fine. <laughs> the speeding fine, I just can't, man. And obviously, because it was a surprise, I can't tell her. You know what I mean? It's a, uh, yeah, nightmare. Right, uh, Truckers MP, how do I get into multiplayer? Sorry to bother you. You need to download Truckers MP, buddy. Uh, there's loads of videos out there that you can watch. Well, no, massive thank you to Tony. Much appreciated, buddy. Right, you're going to turn your blood into monster. I say, I have a can of day, so it's no different than people having a pint of day, uh, you know, a bottle of beer on a night. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do anything. I have a can of monster a day. That's what I like, so. Sounds really good. Uh, very excited to hear you, Mark. No, thank you, buddy. Much appreciated. And I uh, really, really apologise for not thanking you sooner. But I, I just didn't know, so. I was thinking of getting the monitor stand that attaches to the P1, which I'm getting, uh, what do you think? I love it, absolutely love it. I've got it on the rig behind me. Uh, I don't know if I take this off, hang on. I'll just turn in here first. But yeah, if I take the GoPro off and turn it round, you should be able to see that I run, the, I run that monitor stand on my GT1 Evo that I have, hang on behind me so if I take this off here and if I turn this around you should be able to see so that's the other rig that we have in the room obviously it's a bit of a mess at the moment like hang on. yeah so that's the other rig that we run 
that's the monitor mount that mounts to the rig and it is really really good like it is really really good bear with us I just can't get over how nice the monitors look man it looks so good I think I've got the GoPro set up like perfect Yeah, it sold, mate. Yeah, John, John Griffin, uh, who we kindly bought it. Uh, his P1 is not coming until Tuesday, so the seat's getting picked up on Monday. He let he let me keep it for another week, just so Sean and that can come over on the weekend and play. So. But yes, it's gone. My my new seat will be here in a couple of weeks, hopefully before Christmas. I'm hoping. So, but yeah, bought and paid for by John. Would you recommend the one at the stand that is separate or the one that attaches? I personally, so, right, if, it depends, right, because if you're running the, if you've got the P1, right, and you're going to run the rubber feet on it, you do get a little bit of movement, so that, look, see the, see the rig, it moves a little bit just on the feet, so if you take the feet off and just put the thing on the floor, it doesn't move at all, not at all, so if you're going to run the monitor stand to the actual, that mounts to this, I would take the rubber feet off, if you're going to run the separate monitor stand, then you can put the feet on. It, they're both the same really I love the monitor stand that's integrated it is really good and you can get the monitors as super close so it, it's personal preference to be honest they're both very very good right your PC on a shelf that's awesome no it's uh, it's just on the wall it's not on the shelf it's just on the wall it's completely uh, hanging in the air this is going to be tight my days how good did the monitors look though? Hey! They look way better than the TVs ever did, colour wise. Look, mint! That's a lot of milk cartons, that man. Oh god, this is going to be a nightmare to pass. Oh no. No, we'll be alright. I was going to say, if, if that's all wall, there's no way I'm getting parked, but no, uh, we're, we're good. Uh, no, this is Pro Mods, mate. Yeah, this is the old update as well. This is 1.32. Right, so the only th other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go off and buy the garage here. So we can change trucks. Mossy man, gotta love pro mods, you got got to mate. Not wrong with a good old tight spot. Right, so is that the garage? Kinda wanna be over this end, don't I? Ah yeah, I wanna be down the right. Right, we'll go to this garage instead. Right, is the new chair, no, new chair has Simlabs written, new chair has Simlabs written here instead, so, but they are a massive sponsor to the channel, and uh, to be honest, the more that I, the more that I get more use out of Simlabs stuff, like, it's not the fact that they're a sponsor, it's the fact that they're a huge, huge community help, I mean, if they weren't making their Sims and that, you know, we'd have to buy other other ones, and their stuff is just so good, and the customer support is fantastic. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it takes them a bit longer than other companies to get stuff out, but there's only a few of them doing it, and uh, the stuff is unreal. Yeah, uh, how's my dad? I, I haven't spoken to him, but he, as I say, I only see my dad probably 
once every six months or so. Uh, I don't talk. I only talk to him just before a stream. So. Right, how much Simlab set up that uh, you have? Uh, this one is 700 for the frame-ish uh, with a keyboard tray, I think. And the monitor stands about 250, so we're looking at about 950. But the one behind me uh, that I run, the Evo, uh, it's only 500, I think. Is it? Uh, four, no, it's six. Six, so it, it's a really good bargain, like, in my opinion. Might actually be less than that. I think it's like 510 for the monitor stand on the Evo. It's really, really nice as well. But it's just, it's just a really good bit of kit. You could buy a, you could buy a GT Omega and then change to a Simlabs rig in a couple of years. But what's the point? Just save your GT Omega money and buy a Simlabs rig. Save your upgrade. It's as simple as that. It's just, there's just no need to have any of the other ones in like. Could you run 27s on the... Yes, yeah. Yeah, literally, right. You see this stand that I'm using now? That one behind me could fit on here perfectly. So it would just, it would mount to here and it would do away. I've got, I've got two sets of, hang on, there's two sets of legs, so there's another set of legs there. So it, it would do away. And I'm running four screens on the other one as well. So the mount holds four screens, no bother at all. Uh, we're not transporting anything at the moment, I'm just heading to a new garage. Uh, I like the GT1 Evo, but the wheel deck will flex with a direct drive. Not, not much it won't, I tell you. Don't get me wrong, I think the P1 would be stronger on the wheel deck, but that wheel deck is strong as hell, like, considering it, it's pretty good, man. It really is. The wheel deck's thick as hell as well. I thought it was going to be really thin, but if you're going down the direct drive route and you're spending a grand on a wheel, at the end of the day, you should have a good simulator. Like, there's no, there's no doubt. But if you, if you bought an Evo and then you went to a direct drive wheel, there wouldn't be that much flex on it. I mean, Sim Racing Gar Garage did a review on the Evo, uh, and he and he got all of it and showed a bit, like a bit of flex. But his wheel was really overhanging on the deck as well. So yeah, I don't know how much of that was caused by the wheel that he was having to use. No way, I'm following a Renault man. jump well it wasn't too bad man no we're not farming tonight we're project cars tonight mate yeah project cars tonight i just can't get over how good the screens look now like this is what i wanted to have a monitors jesus christ that's rough my god <laughs> well i'll tell you what we'll do is we'll just tone it down a bit it's the bumps in the road the potholes are massive Jesus. What I'm going to do is just going to slow down a bit. Through my own choice, that is. Hiya, Ben Sim. How are you doing, mate? Hiya, Maverick. How's it going? Oh, honestly, some of the roads around the northeast are like that, man. It's mad. Absolutely mad. Why are you going so slow? I mean, this is a bit of a dodgy overtake, like. <laughs> uh, 
Right, this is what I like about pro roads, tight roads, tight spots. Oh, honestly, it's fantastic, isn't it? Dirt roads as well, the dirt roads are really, really good, man. Yeah, super good. Oh, come on, you stupid feet. I don't know how rough it'll be down here. Oh, that's all right, we've got it. Jesus Christ, my days. <laughs> Lol. That never happened. Oh, nice house though, man. Nice house. Don't forget, lads, realism is key. Realism is key. Right, I am going to build a new truck, but I'm going to build a new truck next episode, so... What do I think of the V3 pedals better than the V2s? By far, like... In my opinion, like v, V1s to V2s, not that much of a jump. You got a cam in the clutch. The blood cell was a bit stiffer. That was it. Like, there was no other difference. But they were black. Like, there wasn't really any other difference. V2 to the V3s, way better. Like, oh, honestly, the feel, the, the load cell itself feels far, far better. Like, honestly. Right, I don't have enough to buy the garage. Right. Okay, hang on. Hang on, we'll just lend some moolah. Uh, it's a 65 grand on that loan. So if I repay that, and then we'll just borrow 200 grand. Alright, so amount available. Well, what if I just repay... Ah, oh, I can afford the garage. Right, okay. What? I'm confused. Whatever's happened, we've now got enough to buy the garage. Right, I'm just going to park this bad boy up. not cheating some money because I'm not I'm playing it legit I mean, if that's okay with you but I, I prefer to play it legit I mean if I have to cheat money I, I can do it if you want like I'm joking I've got mo I have got modded profiles if I want to this is where you nap in it I can't a nap are you aha napping Six o'clock in the morning. I think we'll go back through the afternoon just to see if we can gain any cash as well. Yeah, there we go. That's that's the one. Yeah, this is a legit save, yeah. There we go. Lights off. Engine off. Get that off and get the head cam off. Ideal. Nailed it. Right, I'm going to be... Uh, Disappearing now, uh, I will probably get a GT Omega if I get one because Simlab is too expensive for me. But, but the Simlab's GT1 Evo is £360. It's not that much more than an than a Omega. Yes, you need to buy a seat, but you could just buy a cheap race seat like I did off eBay for like 40 quid. You know, it, honestly, you don't have to buy a GT Omega. You could just save a little bit more and buy a Simlabs rig, so at the end of the day. But anyway, that's my opinion. I'll see you all later. I'll be on at 8 o'clock, Project Cars 2, with my dad and Mr. Sam. So, I'm 27, mate. <laughs> 28 on Boxing Day. Take it easy, lads, and I'll see you all in the next one.